Hi, uh, this is Yoshiki Fujita, uh, international student from Japan. I study the uh, difference in mental representation between Japanese language and English language by creating phonological networks. In my country, Japan, citizens' English is horrible. According to the English Club 2019, Japan ranked at the 26th of 29 Asian countries. Another site reads average TOEFL score. Here, Japan is not only worst in Asia, but also the average score is significantly lower than top countries such as Singapore and India. Why Japanese is so struggling with English? U.S. Department of State argues that American people need to more time to master a foreign language if it differs from English. According to the site, Japanese is one of the most different languages from English. So, the difference between Japanese and English would be the reason why Japanese struggle to study English. I argue that Japanese would struggle to listen to English most. First, if we search with for keywords including listening, we see website only relevant to English listening. However, if we search with keyword speaking, we see not only website relevant to English speaking, but also website relevant to English listening. In addition, Japanese TV broadcasting stations always rely on English Japanese interpreters when they broadcast news spoken in English. This manifests most Japanese cannot listen to English. So, how we recognize language? Psychologists and linguists agree that we recognize language by accessing mental lexicon, mental representation of our language. The mental lexicon is comprised of pragmatic, semantic, syntactic, and phonological components. So, when we recognize spoken words, we access to the phonological part of the mental lexicon. English Japanese bilingual persons are said to develop either distinct English and Japanese lexicons or a unite English Japanese mental lexicon. So, by elucidating differences between English and Japanese phonological part of mental lexicon, insight into why Japanese struggle to listen to English could be earned. So, what's the phonological part of mental lexicon? Ruth and Pisoni studied it and found that phonological similarity among words influences on our spoken word recognition. Mikhail Bitovich extended the work by applying network science and provided new insights into spoken word recognition, which were not found with traditional approach. So, current study creates a Japanese phonological network and analyzes it to identify difference between the English mental lexicon and Japanese mental lexicon. Next, I explain how to create a Japanese phonological network. First, I derive my source Japanese language words from this website. The website provides a list of 15,000 commonly spoken Japanese words. Unfortunately, the list does not contain words pronunciations, so I manually put pronunciations. The list contains some symbols and words whose pronunciations are vague. I omit these words so that 14,848 words remain as my source. These tables show Japanese syllable units and corresponding alphabet expressions. Syllables in the first column of the top table are Japanese five vowels pronounced A, E, U, E, O. Syllables in the second column are pronounced Ka, Ki, Ku, Ke, Ko. These tables are lists of Japanese sonnets. The sonnets in the second column in the top table are pronounced ga, gi, gu, ge, go. Due to kanji, many Japanese words share the same pronunciation with other visually different words. 
In context of a phonological network, these words should be regarded as a single word. So, I eliminate this redundancy with Microsoft Excel VBA code. There remain 11,680 phonologically unique Japanese words. This is the definition of phonologically similar words, phonological neighbors. To create a phonological network, edges are established between two phonological neighbors. I create two algorithms. One algorithm detects phonological neighbors based on the deletion and addition rule. Other one relies on the substitution rule. I implement the algorithm with MS Excel VBA because I can show detected all pairs of the phonological neighbors in the Excel cells. This is convenient to check the results. This is a pseudo code of the deletion and addition rule based algorithm and implementation image in Excel. This is an image of substitution based algorithm and its implementation. All detected phonological neighbor pairs are exported as a CSV format. With Python Network X package, the Japanese phonological network is created. Redundant pairs due to my phonological pair detection algorithms are removed. As a result, the Japanese phonological network with 8,500 nodes and 23,332 edges is created. Let's move on result. I show result by comparing with the English phonological network. First, node composition. In context of a phonological network, nodes are classified like this. Lexical helmets are nodes with no degree, and lexical islands are nodes outside the largest component. Here, it's noticed that there are significant less lexical helmets and lexical islands in the Japanese phonological network. Network properties are shown below. All properties are similar between the Japanese phonological network and the English phonological network besides degree associativity. I also create the similar sites ER model graph. The Japanese phonological network has similar average path lengths but much larger average clustering coefficient than the in ER graph. So it has a small word property. The cumulative degree distributions of both phonological networks are shown. As you notice, these two degree distributions are different. The degree distribution of Japanese phonological networks seem to follow the power law, whereas the degree distribution of the English phonological network seems to fit the exponential law well. I also investigate community structure of the Japanese phonological network with Kefi. To compare the English phonological network, I set 2.0 as the resolution, which is the same resolution of the previous research. As a result, 19 communities are detected. This number is similar to the Japanese phonological network. I also calculate average word ranks and degrees in each community. Like the English phonological network, large communities in the Japanese phonological network are made of shorter words and denser than small communities. Here, I show visualization of the Japanese phonological network and its center. Nodes colors indicate each community and the size of labels indicate nodes degree. You can notice that there are some single syllable unit words in both vowel shape, such as E and U, and consonant vowel shape, such as Q and K, are confirmed as herbs. Let's move on discussion. In terms of network composition, Japanese phonological network has much smaller number of lexical helmets and lexical islands. 
Consequently, the largest component of the Japanese phonological network is larger than the English phonological network. These differences imply that Japanese brain might not be optimized to recognize spoken words which are lexical helmets. So, Japanese might struggle to recognize spoken English words because most English words are lexical helmets for Japanese people. In terms of degree distribution, the Japanese phonological network follows the power law distribution. This implies that it evolves through preferential attachment. So, I argue that Japanese brain might be optimized to develop the phonological network by a preferential attachment. This would be disadvantage to establish the English phonological network, which would not evolve by preferential attachment. Both the Japanese phonological network and the English phonological network have the small world property and have similar community structure. These features are sought to contribute to accurate and rapid spoken word recognition. So, the Japanese phonological network structure is optimized to effectively recognize spoken Japanese words. This is my conclusion. Japanese people might struggle to recognize spoken words which are lexical helmets. Japanese people's brain would be optimized to develop a phonological network by a preferential attachment. So, for Japanese learners, I propose start listening to English by focusing on English words which are phonologically similar to Japanese words to avoid lexical helmets. Organize spoken English words to allow them to establish the second English phonological network by a preferential attachment. This is a difference. Thanks for listening.